when I proclaim, I know there is God. It's knowledge. But without the backing of your own personal experience, it's hollow, hollow knowledge. When you have a headache, oh, I am having a headache because of indigestion. Maybe I got sunstroke and my migraine got stimulated somehow. Or I had some argument with someone and I got upset, angry, and that's why I have a headache. Or because my blood pressure shot up and so I have a headache. There could be so many reasons for the headache. This is knowledge. What as human being I would like to have is cure, solution. Take some tablet, appropriate tablet and get rid of this headache. That is the purpose. So knowledge, it is important. More than that, greater importance is given to the solution of the problems in life. Right? You know how to make money. You have all kinds of ideas, you have knowledge. But it's a different matter when it comes to actually making it. Many people who are on the forefront of knowledge, scientists, for example, or the economists of a high level, they don't make much money. So what is it that keeps you going as far as making the money is concerned? Again, given the importance of knowledge versus solution, always stick to solution. But that does not mean I should not acquire knowledge. It's good to impress people now and then, see. When you go for an interview, what they will be witnessing, expecting from you is knowledge. Right? And when you actually begin to practice at going with your work, then what you should be delivering is the solution for the welfare of the institution. It's this knowledge, for example, if you ask your father or mother, does God exist? What will be their image and answer? Yes. This is knowledge. But when you ask, what is the proof? Why do you, or you ask a reason, why do you believe in God? Then what will be their answer? My father told me so, my grandmother told me so, our literature talks about it, our religion talks about it, so I believe in God. So this is all dogmatic knowledge. It doesn't satisfy anyone, including the person who believes. It really doesn't satisfy, it's just a whitewash. You know, in prior to 1970s, the international currencies were evaluated based on the country's backing of gold. If you have tons of gold, your currency will remain stronger. So backing <coughs> is required or strengthening in 1968, 69, in 1947, when India got independent, rupee and dollars were one to one, almost. 70s, it became, one dollar became eight rupees, nine rupees equivalent. Today, one dollar is equivalent to almost 76, 77 rupees. This is depreciation. It needs some sort of a backing. Similarly, when I proclaim, I know there is God, it's knowledge. But without the backing of your own personal experience, it's hollow, hollow knowledge. Mm -hmm.